Hi guys, I am Shazan and welcome to lecture number 8. This we are going to discuss about the header and footers while editing any page. So now you are familiar with the rows and columns. In the last lecture we have discussed about the rows and columns deeply. And now go to the main page. Just click on the about us sections. Definitely you have this content. You have header and you have footer just click on the visual composer edit this page with visual composer okay now you have few things you always added the content available here not the footer not the header including this section how can you edit this sections and also the sections make sure the header is totally depend upon the theme which thing you are using and also the footer footer always available in the uh, appearance widgets you always have the footer so as you can see footer one footer two footer three footer four so you have four footers here one two so i don't know which which footer is now it's using as you can see it's saying contact information so this is the contact information this is the first footer and click on the second footer it's saying it's a block of code or some block this is the widget and uh, definitely the widget is available here block as you can see this is the portfolio block or the portal block because the theme is the portal i think okay now click on the widget it's a empty widget and it's also the empty widgets that means you have the settings in the themes and where is the settings oh okay this is the proto and i'm saying theme options so here you have different kind of go to the footer so now here you have to define the footer section footer section so footer type now So you can edit this one here and this thing here fine so this is the copyright sections you can view or read the entire page so you have a footer and the footer type so as you can see this is the footer type you can also use this type this type and you also have the columns here so as you can see you are saying three and nine column so your footer consists of three and nine column it's a 12 column so now if i say that uh, i only need the four four by four and the four by four click on the save button so now go to the page refresh the page definitely as you can see you have the four sections and now go to the widget sections and you have the widget one definitely you have the empty and empty photo three and photo four now click uh, i'm saying drag your calendar from here and drop here i'm saying third footer okay save i'm saying same calendar i'm saying fourth footer save definitely now you have third footer and the fourth footer here so it's totally depend upon your theme and the theme settings sometimes theme settings available here sometimes you don't need to customize the footer area you always have the four sections so it's totally depend upon you now you have you can change the layout here oh now how can you change this one this header so definitely in the header sections you always had the header type so as you can see a lot of header types here the by default header type is this one now how can you change the logo just click on the customize section so site identity you have changed the title and something like that you can also change the fav icon available here now and here where is the okay 
both farmers menus widgets home page settings so the header sections is not available here so what you need just need to click on the social links because your social links available maybe here okay if i click on the this one so you can see it's currently off click on the mini card so as you can see the mini card is here now choose your style search form you can select your search form sticky header mobile panel so these are the settings available for the header header sections so for the menu so you have different kind of options so, so it's hard to define each and everything uh, from the scratch okay now how can you change this layout okay now just click on the backend editor or edit your page as a backend so now if you click on the preview now you are previewing your page you are watching your page so you can see how can you edit this content so now go to the bottom you have the few settings make sure this settings it's depend upon the themes this theme has a lot of customization settings available here okay now if you click on the breadcrumb so this is your breadcrumb you can click on the breadcrumb check this and preview this one so now as you can see it's hiding you the breadcrumb so if you if you think uh, that uh, you only need to hide the breadcrumb on this page so you just need you just need to click on the breadcrumb make sure here as a theme setting so go to the backend sections definitely you have a theme setting it's a photo theme settings this is the journal theme setting so here breadcrumb so this is the journal theme setting available on every page and every post okay you are just hiding the breadcrumb on a specific page which is the about us page now how can you change this one just as you can see it's saying block banner block so this is a banner block and it's it's about us banner they are saying you can create a block in blocks add new so as you can see this is the blocks click on the blocks find the about us banner so this is the about us banner click on the edit with visual composer okay make sure this is the other thing and this is the other thing okay now click on the heading i'm saying edited you can also click on the row edit so you have the image here so as you can see this is the image and you can also click on the button you can also customize the button here and other things okay now save this one and now go to the page preview the page so now as you can see it's saying edited so it's totally depend upon the theme that uh, how can you customize a particular content mostly this this settings available on the same page here but they have provide you the separate section so that's why okay now how can you change these this one so go to the theme setting okay so this is the theme setting header so as you can see it's saying call now so this is the call now and also it's also have the button welcome to photo so where is the welcome oh here is the welcome to photo i'm saying welcome to shakzi i'm saying double nine double zero save the page go to the page okay click on the about us button so now as you can see welcome to shakzi so you can change the header footer from the theme options and always footer from the widget area you can change this settings from the backend section so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing golf feel free to share our courses and also the videos so thank you for watching